Indiana 23, Illinois 20. This was another one of those post-game win expectancies of da, 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 uh, Indiana, a 10% post-game win expectancy. It was actually a little bit less than that. It's like 9.9 something, something, something. Um, this was an interesting game. And I, I will tell you, I I mentioned last week that this this game terrified me. The line terrified me, right? Because I thought that Illinois was a significantly better football team. And it turns out that, yeah, they probably should have won the game. But if you play a game in week zero and then you do a road game on a Friday, eh, you know, not a lot of uh, prep time, not a lot of time to recover, etc. And yeah, you just beat up on Wyoming last week, but Friday night game at Indiana, like this was as much a scheduling snafu as anything, uh, the turnover situation here. Like, my God, here, let's let's dive into the actual numbers here, uh, which I didn't do on Arizona and whatever. Um Four turnovers for Illinois in this game. Only two for Indiana. Um, 451 total yards for Illinois. And I see that my yards per play stat didn't pop up. Uh, three, it's only 362 for Indiana here. Uh, better third down percentage. Uh, more scoring opportunities. A better points per scoring opportunity. Um, and yet, and yet here we are. Illinois loses the game. Indiana finds a way to win. Now, I don't know what it necessarily says about the future of Tom Allen's program. They were better in this game than I assumed that they would be. But I still don't know that it tells me anything. Like, I... Overall, you know, post-game win expectancy, Illinois 90%. It's because uh, they had more scoring opportunities. They finished their drives better. They had better field position. They had a better third down uh, percentage they had more total yards they had more yards per play uh the only issue was the turnovers that was the problem it's just so frustrating it, I, I can't imagine being an Illinois fan after watching that because you think that you've got some things figured out and uh and yeah and they didn't I mean look you can see it on the on the chart here I mean they were expected to win the game for the majority of the game uh 42 percent success rate to only 33 percent uh, 5.23 yards per plate, only 5.12. Just, uh, just uh, so ridiculous. Uh, by the way, Connor Bazelak, let's talk good about Indiana for a minute. Connor Bazelak was awesome. I mean, he was really good in this game. Uh, I did not expect it. Uh, but 28 out of 52, 330 yards, you know, one touchdown, one pick. Uh, Sean Shivers, not great. 15 carries, 28 yards. It, Indiana still doesn't have much of an offensive line here. I, I'm curious how they are going to... Well, I know how they're going to be able to win games is you're letting Basilak throw deep, right? Like 11 receptions for Camper for 156 yards. DJ Matthews, seven receptions, 109 yards. Like, yeah, if you give that guy time to throw and you let those receivers go get open so long as they stay healthy. Uh, remember, DJ Matthews was out after like week four last year. He's the transfer from Florida State. Yeah, like I may, yeah, I could see them doing something. They're obviously better than they were last year. Uh, because now they have a Big Ten win, and they didn't get that last year. But, yeah, th that surprised me a little bit, because I thought Illinois was way better, like way, way better. And they uh, they showed to me that they are not. So <laughs> so we'll see what, uh, what ends up happening out of that. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.